Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, February the 27th. My name is Anne-Marie Band, and this is the Moneyball Morning Report for the Benzinga Pro platform. Uh, tomorrow is the end of the month. We normally have the employment numbers that come out on Friday. They won't be coming out this Friday, I guess maybe because it's a shortened week. Uh, excuse me, a shortened month. So we'll be looking at employment numbers next week. Right now, my suspicion is that we are chopping around a very particular spot okay and so um anything that we bounce really high with i suspect we pull back anything that we fade really low with i expect that we try to hold the bottom so where are we as far as this morning goes so that's a really interesting thing and remember that's always what you want to focus on am i above the close of my prior candle and if so what have the two prior candles before that been doing relative to my current candle in motion so let's take a look. On the daily, we have downward formations, right? We made a lower low on Friday, but as of this morning, we bounced really sharply. Now, I've been showing you this number for a really long time. This 3974 is the halfway line for the entire range. You might go, halfway line? What, what about that? That's a GAN number, and really, we tend to do these 50% retracements a lot more than we do uh, Fibonacci's. And and uh, so that that's my take there. I suspect we bounced there. Look at how far we could go. We could go all the way into 4025. If we get a lot of traders flat-footed, we could move higher, but here's the thing. Everything that we've bought or sold on the extremes have reverted back to the mean. And so that's what you really wanna think about. What is the key event for you to look at? We've got this line in the sand that's a little bit uh, messy at 40.18. Right now, as we sit this morning, there's a lot of traders sitting at about 40.14, but they are coming into these old resistance, excuse me, old support areas that were resistance, became support, lost again, and now trying to recover. So my thought is gonna be a little bit choppy there, but the first group of folks that might come in are sellers at the first pass. The big thing to think about is the following. Here's my low, and now here's a higher low. If I hold this 3970 floor area today, I will try to push, not I, markets, participants will try to push into these higher areas. We are coming through a month that was very strong, and now we're just sort of chopping around. We can see it inside, the levels are noted. You wanna be very careful to jump in on breakouts, this is not the right kind of price pattern action for you to do that. This price pattern behavior is very sideways. Notice, interestingly, the Qs or the NQ still dramatically up for the year because it's holding literally most all of January's lows. The bottom line is, however, is that it's still trading in the same sort of sideways noise in general, but the pullbacks still holding as buy zones. So you might say, Emery, I know you're here, you're, you're saying that you've had these lines up here forever, and now we drop through the line and then hold it. Listen, any line that I draw is an area of contention. That means traders can go in, traders can go out, but it's up to us to look at the chart and go, hmm, they recovered there. So if I start buying there, as long as I hold it with a little bit of cushion, I'm available to go long. And so that really is the long action event, but it's still only into resistance. That's what we're trying to flesh out. We're trying to flesh out where the resistance zones are. Let's take a look at SPY. SPY looking a lot like the ES, of course, sitting in the sideways pocket, but what do you know? Coming back up again to test that 400 edge. These are very likely to expand and then contract. And that really is the big thing to watch. Can I hold the higher low, 396? Can I close the day above 400? If I close the day above 400, and in the overnight, it dips, say, into 399, and then recovers, we're off for some more upside pressure to uh, get back into you know the top of the range from last week. And then finally, the Qs, 
for heaven's sakes, me and my Shrek fingers. I really don't have big fat fingers. I'm just not dexterous at all, right? I, <laughs> dexterous is not an adjective you're gonna use for me. So here we are, cues. Now the cues don't look like the NQ at this juncture because we can't really see that intraday formation, but they are trying to hold it. And they're all the way up here at this 295 level, right? And that 295 level is putting us at or near the high of the prior month. So this thing is clearly running into a battleground. Traders, listen, this is the last thing I wanna tell you. A lot of us get so excited about finding a trend. And so we chase and we go, nope, this is the breakdown. Nope, this is the buy zone. And things might run for a bit, but when you are looking at candlestick formations like this, folks, you gotta be really careful about what you're doing. Trend, great, buy the pullbacks. But formations like this that give us these pockets, this is where the rubber meets the road, and this is where traders end up losing a ton of their cash because they're getting chopped up by the cross current. We are trading smaller, we are trading less frequency, frequently, and we're just waiting for the market to resolve. All right, that's it. I'll see you at the month end tomorrow.